box and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you click the like and subscribe to the list below so you can be updated whenever I do send out a new video. If you're not new, welcome back. I'm glad you returned. I know it's been a while since I posted, but you know, pandemic. Um, been doing a lot of working from home in the pandemic. I The last video, I dyed my hair blue. It's not really dye, it's overtone, um, which can be it's just deposits on your hair, it doesn't lift at all. And I've been maintaining that with their daily shampoo, which I kind of like. Um, the locks are, let me see, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, about seven months in. Um, doing good and growing, and since pandemic, some days I haven't been really paying a lot of attention to it. Um, this morning, I just exercised and pulled it up. That being said, several people have asked me how do I get the little curlies in my hair when I do make it curly. So this video is going to show you how I use Bantu knots to get some shape to my hair. Um, I know when I used to have locks before, I used to, I did Bantu knots until it was too long and then I just did braids and two strand twists. Um, but today I'm just going to show you how to do the Bantu knots. My hair hasn't been washed since Saturday, it's about to be the end of the week, but that's okay. Um, you can start anywhere. I actually prefer to start not wet because then A, it takes a long time to dry and B, it takes a long time to dry. It's easier just to let it air dry and then revisit it later. It's something that you can do from wherever you are in your weekly in-between wash journey or right after you wash if you want it to be really tight. You need a couple of things. You can actually do this with as simple as water, just wetting your hands and using that. Or if you want a little bit more hold, um, and it will hold several days, you can use a mousse of some type. I'm going to use this Design, Design Essentials Natural, and I know it was supposed to be a curl enhancing mousse, but it has olive oil and vitamin B in it. I'm not trying to enhance my curls, I'm just trying to make it a little bit damp so that these Bantu knots will set. So um, the key is, um, this, I've used the heck out of this, so there's not a whole lot left. It's like right about right about here. Um, but you don't really need a lot. You just want to make your hair down. So that being said, let's get started. So as you can see, my hair is up in a, in a puff. I am so happy to have a puff again. For a long time, I really didn't have a legitimate puff. Um, I did, I guess, have one when it was curly, but it wasn't much of a puff like I was used to. So I'm just going to let that down. I think I had a little bit of a headache from having it up so tight anyway. So there you have it. As you can see, it's really blue. I think I re it, it this past weekend. One of the tricks here is to not make your bantu knot so huge because then it'll take longer for the little bit of wet that you put on it to dry and not make them so small that it's really tight and drawn up to your head unless that's the look you're going for. And for me, it's rather not the look I'm going for. So, just gonna take some moves. Take about that much. And just rake it through the hair. I'm not doing this with any real form or, or fashion. I am just grabbing it where it wants to be grabbed. And then I start the twist. I actually thought I did this video before and don't know what I did with the footage. So this is the second time I'm doing it again, which is what took me so long to get it. Now, some people put a bobby pin or something in there. It's not that serious. Um, I don't, it'll stay as long as I need it to stay to dry, which we're gonna use a shortcut. I'm not gonna let it air dry because my husband makes jokes if I walk around the house and band two knots just because that's his personality and he can. He also makes jokes though if I wear a hat. Calls me paper boy, all sorts of stuff. Depending on the hat I pick.
everybody is doing for quarantine for the hair. I mean, if I was before locks, I would have been trying to get some curly hair products. Or maybe I would have just braided it down and worn a wig when I felt like it. Because that's a thing. I'll do that. But I... Back in the day when I had a relaxer, many moons ago, there were occasions for me to do my relaxer myself. And several times my hair fell out, so I can't say I would do that now. But I imagine some ladies who still are relaxing their hair or have weaves or things that they can't do themselves are having a time of it right now. So here's the thing. You can do dancer knots whether your hair is in locks or not did it a couple of times with my curly hair just for a change and it was cute doesn't stay as well but it's still cute for a change up um, and none of us are going anywhere so we can be cute or different just for ourselves makes us feel better to be done up I've actually been getting dressed every day except today I went back to um exercise clothes because I wasn't getting my second cardio in and I want to might as well have something good come out of sitting at home and eating all the time take a whole lot of time. I may have been doing it for three or four minutes. And you can vary the amount of being two knots in here and experiment with how curly you want your hair to be or how because it's not it's not a uniform curl like if you purposely do rollers or rods or something. It's just a something to give it a little character, you know. Okay, so there you have it. I have bantu knots all over my head. Um, blue bantu knots, and I'm going to show you what that looks like in the back. Now, to dry it. So you can just let this air dry, and I've done that on a number of occasions, um, or sleep on it if that's your thing. But I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to use a hair dryer today. I happen to have a hooded dryer on a floor stand, um, and I'm going to use that. My hooded dryer. It is um, a golden hot elite. It has three speeds and it's ionic. And I actually bought it from another. I saw another YouTuber do a review of it on her channel. And I will um, Kimberly Elise, and I'll put a, a link down below to her video. But I bought this there, and I have not been unhappy with it. Um, when my hair was curly, I would sit under here and let the curl dry. It was great. And everybody in the house uses it when you just want to walk. I'm going to turn this on right now on high, on high heat because I want to be fast and I'm going to sit under here 10 minutes and I'll be back. Hi, so about 20 minutes have passed. I sat under the dryer on high heat for 15 and then just stayed here because I was working on my computer, but I feel like it has to be dry, mostly dry. But you never know when you open it up, it may be done. So I'm just sliding them out. Some people may want to put oil in their fingers. Look at that, 15 minutes. Um, I don't want to do that because so, I'm too lazy to get up. So I'm just sliding them out and then separating them gently. around my head. See, this one's a little bit damp, but that's okay. I'm probably because I made it thick. Just sliding out like so. The ones in the back were thicker, so you can see there's less curl there, but that's okay. Um, now, 
if you are into oiling, like hair root growth oil or anything, it'd be a good time to do it now because you can access your scalp really well. And I just want to make sure I get them all out because nothing in the world is worth to then thinking you have like all the curlers or something out of your hair and then you um, realize halfway through the day you don't, but not like I'm going anywhere. Um, no one in my house cares. So, okay, then that's done. And then I'm just gonna rake my hands through it to get them all sort of going in the same place. Remove any tangles. And shake it. Push it till I get it to do what I want it to do. As always, click the link below, follow any questions, let me know. Um, be safe during quarantine.